Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting series of Nessa Tries BoxyCharm for the month of August. So I just got in the mail my BoxyCharm. I'm so ready for this box. I'm not gonna lie, I did already take a sneak peek inside so I know exactly where I wanna start and just, you know, if I should start with any makeup at all, which I have nothing on right now except for some brows. We are gonna jump right into unboxing and trying on this month's box. So this month's box, the theme is Life of the Party. And Laura Lee was actually a, I guess you could call her a curator for this month's box. She helped handpick a lot of the items because her palette is one of the main features. But that is this little pamphlet. So the item I want to start with from this month's box is actually three items. You get three of Wander Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. The value that BoxyCharm actually gives these is $13 for the three of them. They are quite expensive, but essentially they are gold foil little under eye mask that's supposed to help reduce any kind of under eye dark circles and really hydrate underneath the eyes. So I wanna put these on as we are applying the eyeshadow. It's kind of nice to just have one of these on underneath. I love when they include some kind of a mask inside a BoxyCharm. They are staying on really nicely. They're just adhering to the skin. So I'm gonna let these sit. They are supposed to be on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you work in the extra serum. So let's leave these on. We are now gonna move on to the second item in the box, which is one of the most exciting. This is by Laura Lee Los Angeles, and it is the Party Animal Palette. It retails for $19. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some swatches of these. They just look so beautiful. If you saw my previous month's boxy term, you saw I gave you guys some spoilers and I let you guys know that Laura Lee Los Angeles was going to be in this month's box. It just hadn't been announced which one of her products. I had a feeling it was going to be one of these two palettes that she had just launched. And everyone was keeping it very hush-hush because, she, you know, she still wanted to get her launch and have it be very successful and not have people wait to get their boxy charm. But I had hope that it was going to be this palette, and I'm so happy that it is. I wanted this one so bad when it launched. I'm going to swatch this up, Party. Damage Control. And Karaoke. We then have Drinks. Bottoms Up. And Hung Over. Oh man, that was a little powdery. Here's what a close-up of the swatches look like. The purple one got kind of thick since it got very powdery there. You are closer and I did just prime my lids. I used my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden and I did not set the base. When you're working with bright vibrant colors it's better to work with a kind of more wet or tacky base than a base that has been set because the colors will stick a little bit better if there is a little bit of a tackiness. Okay, so my goal is to use every single shade that's in here. I don't know if I can achieve it, but we're gonna try. I have an idea. So I'm gonna start with this shade right here, Drinks. I'm gonna be taking that shade all in the crease as the transition using my Morphe Y16 brush. I'm gonna give it that kind of like domed effect where it's just kind of sweeping down like this. I don't wanna sweep it all the way out. I wanna kind of round it out. Upon first application, I was a little bit worried. I was like, ooh, that's not really packing on any color, but I went back in with a second coat, I guess you could say, and packed on so much more color the second time. And it is really vibrant and beautiful. I'm trying a new technique. I think I saw Raw Beauty Christie do it where she packs on the most color first and then blends that shade out with a lighter one. I'm gonna take now Issa Party and with this I'm just gonna kind of blend out these orange edges going back and forth. 
for this look, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I'm experimenting. So, I'm gonna be taking the shade Damage Control, and what I'm gonna do with this is kind of start to trace that like, domed half circle shape right here. Try not to bring it up too high. Kind of packing on this color lightly. We are gonna go in with the darker shade Karaoke after. So this is gonna be kind of like the transition to that very dark blue shade. I feel like I need to switch brushes. That was the Soft Dome Brush by Makeup Geek, but I think it's a little too large. All right, I'll try the Y18. So I haven't practiced this look at all. This is just kind of what I wanna do just to use all these shadows. So fingers are crossed that this turns out good. Then taking the shade Karaoke. I'm just gonna be using this shade on my Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush to really define this kind of halo look. So I'm gonna be packing the most color on the outer edge right here and on the inner, and then dragging it across to connect it. I don't wanna bring it too high because I do want that light blue shade to kind of serve as an area for transitioning it which is why I use that light blue shade first because I felt like it would be a little bit easier than just going in with straight karaoke. And once I'm really happy with how much color I have packed on and the shape and everything, I'm taking a clean little pencil brush and I'm just trying to blend karaoke and damage control together. You don't want to blend it too high or else you're going to drag the blue into the orange and you don't want that. You can even dip into a little bit of damage control or karaoke with the pencil brush. Just kind of help work things in. I was trying to figure out what step to take next. What I landed on was actually cutting the crease. I took a little bit of concealer on a small concealer brush and just laid it right in the middle of the eye, kind of working it out. That way we have a very nice kind of even base because we are going to be taking this gorgeous, gorgeous shade right here, It's a Party, and placing that right smack dab in the center as that bright kind of halo spotlight. That shade right there, beautiful. Now, if you feel like your concealer may have gone a little bit everywhere or the very bright It's a Party shade went a little all over, Dip into a little bit of damage control and karaoke and just take your pencil brush, kind of blend out these edges and work them in together. I'm gonna make it look so much better and you're gonna be able to kind of clean up these edges a little bit more. And I would really only use karaoke on the tiny pencil brush to kind of clean up the edges if you went a little bit everywhere. If you don't need to do a cleanup, just dip into damage control with a pencil brush and kind of work it on top of Issa Party and the karaoke shade we put last on these outer corner and the inner corner out here. And kind of go over the line where these two shades meet to kind of blend them together. I could honestly sit here and just blend out these edges forever, but I think this is good enough right here. And this is actually where we're gonna stop for the top half of the eyeshadow look. The lower lash line we're gonna get back to after we do the face makeup, so I'm actually gonna zoom you guys out and use the next product. Okay, I have zoomed you guys out and I'm actually gonna remove these now. Had them on for way longer than just 15 to 20 minutes. I was blending for forever. And it says just to work that serum in that's remaining. And my under eyes feel very hydrated, very nice. So I am pulling from the box a third time. There is six products this month, so it is quite a lot. The third product from the box is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This one comes in a size of 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces, and it retails for $18, and here's what the bottle looks like. So this is supposed to be a kind of glowy primer, and you're just supposed to apply it all over. It's kind of interesting. It comes out a very lilac shade. And they say, you know, put it on as just a primer to give you some glow before you put on makeup or uh, just wear it on its own and just have your skin look very radiant. And it's drying in really quick. It has a little bit of a tacky feeling, but oh man, you can really see the glow. 
All right, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna see how it looks underneath foundation and everything. I am gonna apply all of the face products really quickly off camera since I don't have anything like that in the box. I'm gonna do that really quickly and then we will go ahead and move on to the next product. Hey, face makeup is on. I am gonna zoom you guys a little bit closer. We're gonna go back into the palette and finish up the under eye. Woo, hello there. So what I'm gonna do is check this shade, Hungover. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. I'm taking that shade just on my shading brush by Real Techniques, keeping it very close to the lower lash line, bringing it all the way across. Wow, that color packs a punch. Jeez. I have one more shade, one more shade. Ugh. I'm honestly really debating if I just put it in the inner corner as like an inner corner highlight just because I want to use it or if I should just leave it at this because it's already pretty bold. Now if you're thinking about recreating this look and you want to stop here, do it, go on to my next step. If not, I am going to be taking the shade bottoms up because I just really want to test out all of these shades. I'm squeezing them all on my face. Taking it on a small crease brush and I'm just going to pop this in the inner corner just to kind of see what it can do, you know what I mean? Woo! I did it! I squeezed every single shade that was inside of this palette onto my eyes. So I am gonna really quickly do a, I think a wing liner, some mascara, put on some falsies, and then I will be right back one more time because I did check inside my box and you were either gonna get the Becca primer or you were gonna get the House of Lashes lashes and a couple different variations of styles. I did not get that because of course I did get the Becca primer. So I'm going to do that really quickly off camera. Then I'll be back to show you guys the final three products that are inside the box. The liner, lashes, mascara, everything has now been applied. It's definitely a look, but I'm honestly really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's kind of cool. But I do have three more products that we are going to get through. The fourth product I have to show you guys is by NCLA. It is the So Rich Lollipop Lollipop. It is a cuticle oil which retails for $18. It looks like on the inside it does have a little dropper so it'll be easy to just pick some up, drop it on your cuticles, rub it in and hydrate and make them feel all nice and fresh. I love a good cuticle oil. So that was the fourth product. Then we have the fifth product is by Bang Beauty. It is their chocolate eyeliner retailing for $22. Now this one is really versatile. They say that you can use it to, of course, have as eyeliner, use as a eyeshadow base or even touch up your eyebrows. Now, I did already do eyeliner. I did a black liner. That is the only really color that I do, except from like bright colors. Here's what it looks like. And I think it's a little bit too dark for me to actually touch up on my eyebrows. My eyebrows are definitely not chocolate. At the most, they're a taupe shade. So I'm actually gonna leave this product completely untouched. I don't think it would be worth it to just kind of dip into it, swatch it, and then maybe do a couple strokes in my eyebrows. I think it'd be better to just kind of leave this one preserved. And then I can actually put this in a giveaway for you guys. Do you wanna see this in a giveaway? Let me know down below. And I will pop this one in because I do have a future giveaway probably going up next week. So let me know if you wanna see that in there. And the sixth and final product is by Smashbox. This is their metallic lip in Mauve Squad. It retails for $24. And I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand here. That is what Mauve Squad looks like. It's a really beautiful metallic kind of pink shade. With this kind of eye look, I don't know if it'll actually go. I think I'll just apply it just to show you guys. It smells amazing, wow. I mean, honestly, that's not even that bad. Hmm. I wouldn't have paired it together myself, but looking in the mirror, I'm kind of thinking like, oh, okay, it's not bad. 
I think I'll go ahead and actually leave that on. That was really nice. Which, that was the last product for this month's box, so let's kind of go over it. The grand total of everything that was inside this variation was $114. I mean, the overall total just continues to shock me. You get such a huge value for every box and it's just so affordable. I really love BoxyCharm. I think they're on a roll. They're killing it right now and I'm loving all of these boxes. But I think the item that stole the show for me and I'm so happy that it is in everyone's box this month is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. This palette is beautiful. I know I went very bold and very out there, but I think you could still use some individual shades and make it very wearable to where it's not that crazy and intense. I think this palette was amazing. And the pigmentation, the blendability, I mean, everything was really on point. This was the first time I tried Laura Lee Los Angeles shadows and they did not disappoint. They were so good. So this month's box to me personally, I think was a huge success. I absolutely loved it. Now I had done this in last month's unboxing. I added some spoilers and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I have two spoilers for the month of September for BoxyCharm. So if you want to know what they are, I will reveal those right now. If you don't want to know and you just want to cover your ears and go la 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 la, now's the time to do it. The first spoiler for the month of September is by Pretty Bulger. It is their Nightingale eyeshadow palette, which retails for $35. I will put an image up on the screen. And spoiler number two is, of course, a variation. You could receive Girlactic Skin Glow Duo or the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten. Those are the only two spoilers for right now. I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram, so make sure you are following me there. I will put it in my story. But that is where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.